Hello and welcome back. So we've taken a week off of YouTube just to have a catch up around the house and do just a few different things. So it's been quite good as well with my new job just to have a week of a break. And yeah, so I'm quite excited to show you what we've been up to with the renovation project. We have been filming a little bit less as well, which just means we will get more stuff done, essentially. So it's been good for that. Um, but yeah, so we will probably look into getting a two week schedule in now for the filming. And um, tonight I decided to actually film quite late um, this intro, because um, I just wanted to show you the great um, light that we still have at this time of year in Scotland. So it's just after half past nine and you can still see it's quite bright. Um, the sun hasn't set yet, so I'm just moving to the front of the house to show you the sunset so far. But um, you'll be able to see it's still quite a bit to go. Um, so yeah, I hope you will enjoy this week's video and stay tuned to the end. So Ben actually started to take down the last room on the end. So um, being an expert, of course, he likes using his familiar tools. So you'll be see, seeing him use a chainsaw as well as an axe, um, which um, he's really efficient at this and quite safe. So. It's not a worry and um, he makes quite good work of it. Um, it's been very satisfying to actually watch him do a lot of these jobs. I wasn't actually here when he filmed some of these things, I was um, working. So I was really grateful for him to actually uh, film some of these clips for me. And you can see he did a really good job um, getting some great footage together there. Ben is just starting to remove the top half of that stud wall. Now um, you might be actually wondering why are we removing that stud wall if we want to have a room there in the future. Um, a lot of the timber here is also again fairly rotted. So we've got woodworm, wet rot um, in those beams, in the lath, everywhere pretty much. And we've only had the attic treated for woodworm and wet rot. So um, we're just quite keen to get anything sort of timber related out of the house that isn't the attic or the roof beams essentially. Um, and also with this end room here, which is the second bedroom, we're currently thinking about actually having a removable wall there so we can have an extended living area. And then if we have people stay, we can put the wall back up and um, it works very similar to how walls work in the UK and a lot of universities to separate um, like a study room from a lecture room. So something like that we'll probably have at um, that end of the wall so we can make most out of our living space.
So Ben does take regular breaks when he's wearing the mask as well, just so he doesn't get too tired. Those filters are actually really good, so um, they don't make breathing any harder. It's one, one of those new modern masks that work really efficiently. Um, but he also lets the dust settle in between. So yeah, no, he's been making really good progress. So he's actually been doing all of this so far in the same day. Um, and yeah, so you can see he's still using his axe getting the rest of the door frame out. It's actually really interesting, those old doors are extremely heavy to lift, so I can't actually lift it by myself. So all the doors Ben actually has to get out himself. Here you can see he's using a bungee cord to just secure all the very light lath onto the wheelbarrow a bit better, which means he will be able to get more shifted at the same time essentially, and it's been working really well actually. It's one of his... Um, great plans that he came up so it's working out really well so here you can see he's just removing um, all the wallpaper as well as the lime plaster that was on that stud wall so that's all um, very old-fashioned lime plaster and um, horse hair that was fixed to the lath. So now he's actually starting to remove the suspended timber floor in the last bedroom at the end there. So just to give you a better idea, that's the bedroom that's on the other side of the mini shed that we've got. And it's the room that's bordering the living room area. So I've actually asked Ben to remove some of these boards with a little bit more care so I will be able to use them in a few projects such as building another firewood shelter outside um, that is basically only the ones that are not rotted and even some of the good ones you still end up having to cut off the ends from them. So Ben is just cutting the beams underneath the floor there and you can see the drop is actually really deep. Um, yeah, so I'm sure a few of you will be quite concerned that he is using a chainsaw without safety gear. So he does have a lot of experience in using a chainsaw and has been working with it for a, a good decade now. So um, he, he's fully aware of all the sort of risks that come with it. So this is actually Ben's preferred method of removing the suspended timber flooring because it's just so much faster and easier. You can see it's much quicker to handle um, a larger chunk like that. But yeah, now you can see he did a great job. He did all of that in one day. Essentially just using his chainsaw and his axe and the crowbar. Essentially that's pretty much it. That's all the tools he did use and you can tell it was quite fast. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And as I said, I'm not going to upload a video now next Sunday. It will be in two weeks time when the next video will be out. And yeah, we'll be excited to share the progress with you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.